My goodness, can you imagine actually seeing this thing in real life 15 times bigger than how it currently is? Well, if you want an idea, there it is. channel today. The day started off awesome. It's actually still morning. It's about 10 a.m. We got up early and we're on our way to Cape Canaveral. Oh yeah, to go see the rocket launch. But I don't know if it's going to be happening, if the, it's going to keep raining like this. So it was like blue skies, great. And now let me just turn it around really quick and show you what it looks like outside. We are under an overpass right now, as you can tell. But can it you guys is see that? People dumping. are actually pulling over right now because yeah, it's, it's so hard. It's very hard to see. So we pulled over, but also our tire pressure light came on. So Jared pulled over underneath here to go check out. We have our little machine here, which is really nice. It has saved us so many times. So the weather report said it wasn't supposed to rain until later on, like around two. Now this could just be, I mean, here in Florida, it just comes down, it goes away really quick. Oh my goodness, that was a big truck. Jared, you gotta be so careful getting out. Another car stopped underneath here. So we got multiple cars. Jared's trying to check the tires. Oh, I hope he does not get splashed. Or luckily that car, it's kind of blocking him. This is can be dangerous. We have our hazards on right now, but this is still scary. Anytime you pull over when it's hard for other cars to see, it can be really scary. Oh, oh I love him so much. Be careful. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Holy cow. Man, this is no joke. We got another car, so now we have four cars under here. This is just insane. Oh my goodness. Hopefully it starts to let up soon. What gets crazy is these cars are going so fast with the water and it's spraying up on you. It's so hard to see and I feel like dangerous. I feel like a lot of these cars are gonna hydroplane. Did you just see that car? Oh my gosh, both of these. <gasps> it literally looks like they're just hydroplaning. Oh my gosh, look at that. What? <gasps> This truck, did you see that one? They're fish telling right there. Oh my gosh, that one too. They're all fish telling when they hit this. Look at that. <gasps> Guys, these Florida storms are no joke. Holy cow. Guys, we actually have an accident over here. There's a car facing the opposite direction that just hydroplaned, spun out of control, and is now facing traffic on that side. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> So crazy. <laughs> that lightning strike was nuts. The lightning, the cars, like babe, as you were doing the tires, I was just watching the cars just slide and hydroplane right yeah. in front of us. Well, there's that car that spun out of control. Yeah, that one, there's cops now over there. It caused an accident over there, like uh, literally right behind us. Yeah, it was so scary. It's kind of a blessing that we were able to pull over. We pulled over because of our tire, but honestly, if we would have hit that water, knows yeah. you know it's really scary yeah it is really scary my goodness you guys this is morning is off to an adventure already so grateful we're okay hopefully those people over in that accident are okay we are going to say a prayer for safety again and keep on heading and hopefully we don't hit too much more rain Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Houston launch has been scrubbed. You guys, the launch has been delayed again. Again, and we, we found out literally when we got here. Literally, they just canceled it an hour ago. It's like T minus an hour till it was supposed to happen. Yep. And we are literally on the beach where yeah. we are going to watch it. You That's where it's going to launch, it's right back here. You can see the launch pads back here, which is incredible. It's going to be an amazing view. So oh. it's actually scrubbed until tomorrow as of now. I guess there was a technical difficulty. It's not due to weather because as you can see, it's beautiful out here yeah. right now. It's beautiful right now. Oh, you guys, this is so sad. It's the second 
second time now. That <laughs> and we're late. actually physically here now. We're here. But this place is beautiful. So one of you guys actually recommended that we come to this spot. You guys said that you have to go to the Cape Canaveral North Seashore or something like that? Yes. National Seashore. Anyway, we are here. This is actually it. So we're at Playa Linda Beach. I think that's how you pronounce this place. But okay. it is gorgeous here. There are birds everywhere. As you can tell, look at this. You can hear some sort of insects. There's thousands <laughs> of dragonflies flying. Oh, all there are around. so many dragonflies. I think that's why all these birds are chilling. The drive out here was beautiful. You're just surrounded by wetlands and nature. Oh, look at I mean, even look at this like bridge thing. This is so cool. Like it's gorgeous out here. So supposedly there's a lot you can do out here just in and of itself with the wildlife refuge. So we decided to at least come, look at the beach, kind of scope it out. On the plus side, you guys, we have something probably equally as amazing, you could say. Maybe Maybe equally as cool. Thing yeah, very, very cool. Scheduled for tonight. So, fingers crossed that does not get canceled. They said that could get canceled to the rain. Yes. So, we're hoping that one goes through. So, we're hoping like crazy this whole trip wasn't in vain. <laughs> so far, we're 0 for 1. <laughs> but, you guys, we're going to just enjoy the sights here. There's a ton still to see and do. So, we are going to go explore Cape Canaveral. <laughs> We've landed, Davey. <laughs> at the Kennedy Space Center, you guys. We are here at the entrance, as you can see. I've never been here before. Dear I've been here once when I was a little kid, but I don't remember very much. You haven't really remember it. So this is gonna be really cool for both of us. There's a lot of things around here that I recognize from like pictures, like this big globe that says NASA over here. Guys, look at the size of these rockets. I mean, we're not even over there yet, but they are huge. Yeah, this is really cool. This has a saying by John F. Kennedy. Here inside NASA, I have no idea where we're Rocket at. Rocket Garden. Rocket Garden, yes. So they have replicas of tons of the rockets, which is really, really cool. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're huge too, which so, is awesome. Real quick, if you guys aren't following us over on Instagram, you have to go check us out because this type of video is perfect for Instagram, the vertical video. Jared is getting some awesome 360 footage though, so yes. hopefully you guys feel like you're here with us. This oh, is so much goodness. fun. Yes, it's awesome. That. We are going to head to one of the exhibits now. There is so much to see and do here. There is a rocket here. Yeah. Like an, I mean, there's rockets everywhere. Obviously, we're in Rocket Garden, but over there, that's like the space shuttle. The actual rocket we are going to go see. <laughs> so uh, we were talking with the lady that worked here, and she said you really need about five to six hours to see everything. Unfortunately, we have about three. <laughs> yes, so we don't have that long sadly, but we're going to try and see as much as we can. I knew nothing about this space shuttle. I didn't know that this thing is a glider. It's not even an airplane. Yeah, it's so cool. And this is the actual one, you guys. Yeah, this is the actual one that they took up and reused several times. You can see inside of it right here, which is really, really cool. I wish we could like capture it all, but it's just so long. Huge. It's massive. I, I cannot never, believe how big it is. I would never expect it to look like that inside either. I love how you can see the big NASA logo though on the side of the wing. I mean, look how big these wings are. They are massive. Look at the size of these engines right here. They're huge. I bet they're taller than me standing. That is incredible. Wow. This is so, so cool. I'll take you guys down here and show you this side of it. Look at the wingspan of this thing. Yeah, it's at an angle like that. It goes clear down there. 
I had no idea this whole thing was just flat. Like, look at that. There's nothing on the other side of this thing. So we learned from watching the video that the progress of this shuttle was delayed one and a half to two years because of the tiles. And if you look really closely, you can actually see the tiles on the space shuttle. Yeah, wow. So those were vital for re-entry when they came back down into Earth from space. That is so cool. So just to give you an idea, you guys, this little model right here is only 1 15th the scale of the actual space shuttle itself. But it kind of gives you an idea, like just how cool it was. My goodness, can you imagine actually seeing this thing in real life 15 times bigger than how it currently is? Well, if you want an idea, there it is. Wow. Now imagine two massive rockets strapped to that on each side and an even bigger gas tank attached to the bottom of it. Okay, so I know this is like a replica or like a representation, but this is kind of like an idea of what would be strapped onto the shuttle. That thing is massive in comparison to me. Atlantis, because that was awesome. I highly recommend going to that exhibit oh, if yeah. you come here. If you guys come here, you have to go check that exhibit. And awesome, it's awesome for kids too. There's yeah. so many things kids can do. I think they'd love it. That is what an astronaut looks like. Wow, in the full setup, the full gear. That is incredible. We're launching out of here. This place is actually really cool. There's tons of stuff to see here if you are into the space stuff. If you're into a lot of reading, this place is for you. There's tons of exhibits. I think quite a bit of kids stuff for sure. Tickets yeah. Tickets are pretty pricey though. Tickets are pr really pricey. As far as like adult stuff, there's really not as much as I had hoped for. Yeah, we could have taken a bus and gone out to the Space Center, so that might have been worth it. But it's too late, so we, we couldn't catch one. Yeah, we couldn't catch that. But I'd say if you have a full day to plan here, it'd probably be worth it, but it's $57 a person, which is kind of pricey. Yeah, so honestly, kind of up to you whether or not you want to come do this or not. If you have a family, definitely come here. This place is made for families. There's no question about it. Okay, you guys, so, so many of you commented that we need to come to Ron John's Surf Shop, and I can tell you what, this place does not disappoint. This store is absolutely massive. It is huge. Anything beach related, oh my gosh. I feel like this is the ultimate, ultimate souvenir surf shop. So they have tons of gear from their own brand, but they also have tons and tons of brands in here. Oh so as gosh. you can see, every kind of shopped around a little Jared's bit. Jared's loading up. So we're gonna finish browsing around here in Cocoa Beach, and then we're gonna grab something to eat. You guys, it was really, really good. I was actually kind of surprised how good it was because it was in a strip mall. Yeah, and usually like places in a strip mall are not necessarily the best, yeah. but it had amazing reviews and we were so hungry. It was raining outside. We were kind of getting a little hangry. <laughs> so we're like, let's yeah. just go there. We went there, you guys, the fish, I got a salmon with, it was like oh, a teriyaki grilled salmon with mango. It was the best salmon I think I may have ever had. Yeah, so the funny thing is that I was actually telling Brittany like right beforehand, that I don't like eating salmon at restaurants because they don't taste as good as hers. And I was like, oh, well, let's not hold our breath. And then literally we tasted, I was like, yeah, this is way better than mine. And but, yeah, she, she let me have a bite. I can confirm it was very good. <laughs> it was so good. Anyways, if you're ever in the area, the restaurant's name was Florida's Fresh Grill and it was Divine. It was amazing. And I got the grill burger. That's actually yeah. the name of it. it and it was huge. Huge. Massive. And we also usually get coconut shrimp wherever we go. It's like our favorite. And usually they oh. give you like four okay shrimp, maybe yeah. five. They gave us eight huge jungle massive, shrimp. 
massive shrimp. So you definitely oh. get your money's worth there yeah. for sure. And we got this lobster bisque soup. Every bite really had good. lobster in it. It was really, really good. Wow, we have had quite an adventure filled day. Yeah. My goodness. The sun is just starting to set right now. The rain has stopped. But our night is not over yet. Oh no. We are going somewhere so incredibly special. Like, I can't believe this is in the US. Yeah. I really can't. Yeah. This is something we've always wanted to do together. Because it's so awesome, we have decided we are gonna make this a two part vlog. Yeah. So, if you wanna know where we are going, you're gonna have to come back tomorrow to tune in and see where we are headed next. And you guys, I am looking at giant cruise ships right now. That is. A Disney cruise ship. Do you see these ships? There's one there, there's three out here. That is so cool to see them here. Anyways, what we were saying is you're gonna need to come back tomorrow. There is also a slight chance we may stay the night and try and see the rocket tomorrow. However, it says right on their website, it's still pending, the issue is not fixed, so there's a really good chance it's not gonna even launch tomorrow. Yeah, so, because of that, we're kind of baiting you into driving home because there's really no point in us staying here. Yeah, hotels are not the cheapest, and yeah, I'd rather- Yeah, pretty darn expensive. I'd rather just drive <laughs> home tonight after this than spend the money on a hotel, especially if there's no guarantee we can see that rocket launch, yeah. which is so sad. If you're ever planning a trip around a rocket launch, yeah. I maybe think twice because- <laughs> Be extremely flexible. It can change at a moment's notice. This is the second time, and it could be a third time. Who knows? So yeah, the first time it changed the night before, and this time it changed an hour before. Yeah, but regardless, we have had an awesome day. Hopefully yeah. you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you come back tomorrow. You are not gonna wanna miss out on this activity this tonight. I've done this once in my entire life. And I've never done it. I did it in Puerto Rico, and I, as far as other than Puerto Rico, I thought the only other place it was was maybe in the Maldives and like Bali. Ah! And there's one here in Florida. So that's a huge hint. So if you think you know what it is, guess down below. We'd love to see your guesses. But we love you all. We're almost to the place. So we gotta say goodbye. We'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys.